Hi everyone, today we're going to be uh, looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series headless RHMI panel unboxing and RHMI remote HMI unit or human machine interface. So here we have our actual uh, product itself. You see the model EA9 RHMI and the EA9 is the exact same series as we have been describing all along. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at the accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So once we open our box here, the first thing we'll notice is that we have our quick uh, start guide which will then take us through uh, some of the features that are on this unit with dimensions and different uh, slots and unpacking and indication lights and all the different features that we have on it so that is our quick start guide then we'll open up the actual unit And here it is here. So there is my A9 RHMI unit. And we have a lot of different features on this uh, um, product. The first thing you will notice is that we can DIN rail mount this um, right into our panel. And unlike conventional uh, human machine interfaces, you'll notice that there is no panel display per se. So we put this into our controller or into our system and we can put our display anywhere we want. So some of the uh, uh, features that we um, can see on here is that we have a lot of indication lights. So you see our CPU run and user defined light that we can um, program in. We have our power light, an error light. We have our SD uh, memory, which is a slot right here. There is a reset button located right here. We have our run stop. We have uh, port number two, which is our uh, three, three uh, wire RS45, so serial. Port number one down here which is a 15 uh, connector one, which is RS-232 or RS-422 or 485. So that's port number one, again, serial. And you see for both these ports, we have indication lights that transmit and receives. Then we have our power uh, connector here. Anything from 12 to 24 volt will power this unit up and it uses uh, 12 watts. So at 24 volt, we'll use half an amp maximum. Then we have our HDMI output located right here. So that will actually um, allow us, that's an HDMI um, output that actually has audio as well. Then we have our ethernet and our ethernet can be port, it's RJ45. It's used for PLC communications as well as programming and we can use it for our web server email our FTP file transfer protocol all in that one port then we have our USB uh, type B which is a high-speed port and it's strictly used for programming so we have a dedicated programming port as we go up to our unit we can plug in and program away then we have our USB type A and this is used for a keyboard, a mouse, part of the touch screen. Uh, we can use it for backup or restore and data storage. Similar um, to our backup and data storage that we have on our SD card. So that's the features of our, or of our uh, new headless Seymour product. So if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below. 
If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.